Okay, people, a quick Gromit 101. Since I've had the most questions about that, I thought I'd better do a, a quick video about it, see if we can just answer all those questions. I'm not a Gromit expert. I do not work for anybody selling for Gromits, although that would be nice. Free Gromits? Yeah. Anyways, here, here, basically the point of a grommet is it's a double-sided eyelet. They use them in quilting and making, if you have a shower curtain, you've probably got grommets. Um, these are some small ones I've used in my inspiration journal. The, the point of them is that they are finished on both sides when you're done with them. And they come in all different sizes. I, I'm not an expert at the sizes either, and I threw all my packaging away. So I have small, medium, and large. Does that work? I think these are like 3 16 You can do these with the crocodile, the small ones. Um, I don't recommend it. I like the setting tool. It's easier. It just works better. Um, I also found that these small ones tend to smoosh just a little bit. Because they are made from material, they have a really long neck. And so it... They smush a little bit, but you, yeah, I mean, look how nice and finished. Who cares if they're smushed a little bit? Um, here's the larger one. Here's a, a larger one. This is a, a brass one, and again, it's finished on both sides. Um, I took a brass one here, colored it with alcohol inks, finished again on both sides. Basically, the tools that you need are a hammer, something to poke a hole with, and, um, you know, it doesn't have to be a crocodile. It could be a big bite. It could be a hole punch, whatever you're punching them through. Um, just again, remember, these are mostly made for material. So they have a longer neck. So if you put it through, like, one piece of paper, it's probably not going to work so well. This is how I store all of my eyelets and my grommets. Um, I store them by size. And um, by the long neck and the short neck, as I call them, that's probably not the technical terms for them. But basically what you get is you get two sides. You get a long neck. Let's see if I can. My fingers are dirty. I was alcohol inking last night and, you know, all that stuff is. But can you tell that there's a long neck and a short neck? Okay, so basically what it does is you have a tool that comes, you, you can get them with the grommets or you can get them separate, um, however you want to do it. Just This is the tool, you have a hammering side and a, a bottom side, and what you do, I have to use this other one because it's not the right size, here we go. You put your, your uh, bottom side down, long neck up, your piece of paper your small neck over the top of that, and then you hammer. See the sandwich? This is a great tutorial. You guys just have to hang on. <laughs> but anyways, that that's the basic point of it is the fact that um, you you know you could you punch your hole in your paper. I don't know if I can show you on the small ones here, but we'll try it. But it doesn't really matter what it is. Let me grab a piece of shit for it. Okay, so you take it, use your largest hole punch for the small ones. Okay, so you got a hole, all right? Take your long necked one to get through the bottom. Okay, with me? And then see how it still sticks out? You're going to put your little collar, which is thin, over the top of that. Now, one of the tricks that I have found with this is you have to make sure, now like if I hammer this one down, this one won't work very well, because can you tell that the collar is sticking up above the chipboard? That's the tip, is it? you don't want the hole to fit the long neck, you want it to fit the collar. So you have to make sure that when you make your hole that the skinny neck, the collar part, actually sets into the paper. And so if I did it with this hole, it wouldn't work. I'm not going to sit here and punch a bigger hole, but you would want to punch a bigger hole. Make sure that it fits your short collar, not your long collar. See the difference? You want your hole to fit this one, not this one. Because this one's going to go up between them and then curl out. 
Like I said, they all come with a little tool. Here's the tool for that one. They're only a couple bucks. You can get them at Michael's, Hobby Lobby, Joann's, any, probably any fabric store. I know Walmart sells them. They sell, um, I think, these larger ones at Walmart. Don't quote me, though. I haven't bought them there because I can't use a coupon, so I haven't bought them there. Um, but, you know, they come in several different colors. I'm sure there's more colors, but I color mine with alcohol inks or Copics, so I don't really care if they come multicolored. Um, there's great big ones down to the smaller smaller ones. And like I said, they all come with tools, so just be sure you get the tool. Take your coupons and get the tool. It, it'll just save you some sanity. Um, poke your holes. Make sure that they fit the, the skinny collar, the thin collar, not the long neck collar. And hammer away. And don't forget, it hurts if you hit your finger. So keep your finger away from the hammer. All right? All right. Holler questions. Um, again, you get them at Michael's, Joann's, Hobby Lobby. Any fabric store should sell these. They're in the quilting and the fabric department. Um, and they just look great. I mean, both sides finished. Love it. All right. Later, peoples. Go out and buy some grommets. Talk.